Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about Boolean. Um, you might have heard the word Boolean before associated with a search, a Boolean search on Google, for instance. You would type in, quote, Samuel Adams, quote, minus hops plus calories to really drill down your search, basically by, you know, taking a certain given and then subtracting or adding another given to, you know, hammer down what it is you're actually doing. And Boolean and Lightwave is the exact same thing. You're taking one object and using it to define the properties of another. And this is the first tool we've used that's going to require the use of layers. Let's go ahead and do this, uh, make a box. We're going to make it uh, one tab, one tab, one, meter by meter by meter. Put a, you know, we don't need the radius. We'll leave the radius segments here. Um, enter. You know, just a box, please. Thank you. Uh, and we're going to make it red. I've made a red surface. Layer two, let's make a disk. Uh, make it a bit thinner and longer. And I want to make sure that the uh, these two values are the same so it's nice and smooth. Cool. So on layer one, I have a red box. And on layer two, I have a blue two. I'm going to go into layer one. And remember I said you can click on the uh, lower triangle to kind of just see the guide there. Uh, we're going to use that to tell Boolean what to do. So without explaining it too much, I'm just going to show you. Construct, Boolean, Subtract. Here's layer one. It has drilled a hole in the shape of the background layer into the foreground layer and gave it the uh, surface of what the drilling tool was. That's the power of Boolean. And now you can sort of see, you know, you can imagine the possibilities with this thing. Boolean uh, intersect does this, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, Boolean union is rather interesting because it allows us to talk about merging points. What this has done is there is no blue tube inside the box. You see, it's it, it cuts off right at the cube. And the cube and the tube have both been set up basically to custom fit each other. There are points on this box that custom, custom fit the points on the tube, right? Now, that means that there are points literally on top of points in 3D space. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, that, you know, it's just pointed at it. It doesn't matter. But even though right now this tube isn't connected to the box, there are points at the end of the tube that correspond exactly to points on the end of the box. And if I hit M, which is merge points, I can merge those points. It says 48 points eliminated. And right now this whole thing is one piece. Merge points is a rather useful tool, and it's also something that when you start having weird glitchy errors and you're not sure why what's happening, hit M for merge points and just see what happens when you go on automatic. Automatic is just going to search for points that literally exist in the exact same space. Uh, fixed allows you to, you know, set a threshold for distance between points. Like if I was to set the distance really high, it's going to start merging points weirdly here. Yeah, I just gave up. Um, but merge points is rather useful, and uh, so is Boolean. So there's how that works. And the thread, when I was talking on the Rubik's Cube video, uh, I mentioned that some people had started playing with Lightwave already and had posted some cool stuff. Someone in that thread made a companion cube from Portal, and they did it without knowing how to use Boolean, so I'm very impressed. Uh, but it's way easier with Boolean. Uh, I hope you know what a companion cube is, but it doesn't necessarily matter. We're going to make one anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put some radius on here, make it nice and smooth. Yeah, four segments, that's fine. Cool. And I'm going to go ahead and make this my cube silver surface that I've already built. So there's that, right? And what we're going to do is go into layer two, put layer one on in the background, not to do the boolean, just to see it, uh, and make another box here like that. Cool. We're going to stretch it up and down. I'm going to hit F2, which is going to center it in the middle of the thing, which I don't want. Right now, this would be a Boolean through the center of the box, because the Boolean operation only happens where the two things intersect. In this case, right here. So you're sort of thinking inverted. You're thinking backwards. What's going to happen is we're going to cut a hole in the background box here with this area. Now, to switch back and forth between foreground and background layers, you can just use the apostrophe key, uh, which is rather handy. And what we're going to do now is boolean that shape out of the cube. Boolean, subtract, blink. And there's that. We've done that, right? 
but we have to do it on all sides. So let's work smart, not hard. What if I, uh, apostrophe, what if I go into array, radial, and make the number four? Ah, see, work smart, not hard. And now when I do the Boolean, I get that. Sort of there, halfway there, getting there. Uh, let's go back into layer two. We can delete this tool. I want to save one of these. Control X, uh, delete. Control V. Um, now we have to go side to side, hitting Y to go into rotate, and holding Control. Uh, what happens is Y will just rotate in increments of I think 10 degrees or something like that, maybe 15 degrees. Uh, but you can use that to click and get a perfect, you know, inversion of that. And we're gonna go ahead. I don't want to uh, do the radial thing here because what will end up happening if I do that is uh, the cutting tool will start intersecting itself and I'll start getting errors in the boolean. You gotta be careful about that. But I can do this. Um, the mirror tool is in multiply and you can set it by axis. It's shift V if you want to use it. Uh, and I'll do that once like this. Go ahead and boolean. Uh oh. Oh, see what's happening here? Uh, the cutting tool is doing the Boolean operation, and since I just rotated it on that one axis, the the face of the cutting tool is identically situated with the face of the previous cut, uh, which means it's actually subtracting what's already there. We don't want that. We do not want that. So what we're going to do is undo that mirror and just scoot this guy. Because you see, like right now, it's cutting right on the existing line. Bad call, Ripley. Move it just enough so that it's not. Shift B in. And uh, apostrophe. Boolean subtract. Yeah, now we're really, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Let's uh, apostrophe go at the top. And then we're going to rotate those guys 90 degrees. I'm just going to center my rotation thing on the origin for control. And uh, apostrophe. Boolean, uh-uh, not solid drill. Boolean, subtract. Now we're getting somewhere. And the one last piece of this operation, uh, if you know portal, is we're going to have to do one of these, too. We're going to make a disk. I'm just going to go into the center here, hold control, and drag it kind of a 45 degree angle. Like that. And uh, go to the top. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. You always want to make sure when you're doing a Boolean that your cutting tool is not inverted. Uh, remember that F will flip the polys. Apostrophe. Oh, wait. Give me a array. I want to make sure that I'm intersecting the plane. Am I? Yeah, cool. Array, radial, apostrophe, booty. And now we're getting somewhere. I mean, this is kind of a shitty excuse for a companion cube, but hey, Boolean operations make it easy. So that's what Boolean does. Uh, it allows you to, using one object, cut a hole or another way, some sort of modification to another object. Um, background and foreground layers, bitch. Yay. But there's our crappy companion cube. Delete those guys. And um, it's, a, it's a really handy tool. Uh, drill. Let's put a ball on layer one. Let's put a, one of those disks that we made on layer two. Oh, damn. Uh, Uh, drill works very similarly. It's another one where you do the background foreground thing. Uh, let me put this in wireframe shade here. But here's the deal. I At one point I learned how to use drill and use it effectively, but I must have forgotten. Solid drill, a little bit more useful. 
Uh, I've had more success with solid drill than drill. Uh, tunnel, you know, um, stencil. We'll just stencil a uh, an extrusion on the, or, uh, you know, basically do a knife on the object. Um, but, you know, I use solid drill more than drill, and I use Boolean more than solid drill, but that's sort of how they work. Right? So, now that you know how these guys work, I've been saying you were dangerous all along. I had, we've entered a whole new level of dangerous now, but really cool tools, uh, really fun, um, and speed Boolean. Yeah. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Don't even worry about it. But there you go. That's how Boolean works in Lightwave. Um, we've basically reached the end of the major tools in Lightwave. Uh, we're going to have to come back in a while uh, to talk about building UV maps. But for now, we're going to set Modeler aside and start uh, playing with layout. So when those videos go up, they might not be up right now, but they should be up shortly. Um, we shall continue merrily into the other half of the Lightwave modeling and animation system. See you guys there.